This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Lumosity. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis here at CES 2014. I'm super excited to introduce to you Mark Holmes from Flixel. Welcome. Thank you, Callie. Nice to be here. Fantastic. All right, so Flixel, we're going to get to that in a second, what it is. But first, I think we have to introduce the whole concept between hybrid photography. What is hybrid photography? So hybrid photography is a, a fusion between uh, two traditional art forms, so uh, basically video and, and photography. So what our software does is combines a still photograph with, with video capture, creating a hybrid image or a living photograph, uh, which we refer to as a, as a flixel. A living photograph. I love the sound of it. It's so sexy. Uh, well, we try, and, we try and keep it real and sexy as much <laughs> as possible. All right, so we see uh, something's going on in the background yeah. here. Um, how Can you show me exactly how this is all done and how is, there's a process to it, but it's uh, not complicated? No, it's not. It's actually, we're, we're, you know, our goal has been to make this really, really intuitive. So if, if you if you want, we can get you up there and... Oh, you want me to take her spot? Not, I mean, oh, absolutely. but she's so much more beautiful and gorgeous yeah. than... Okay, well, we'll, we'll see. Okay. okay, what do I... Hi! All right, what do I do? So just, yeah, just sit down. Am I taking over? Yeah, okay. okay, all right, fantastic. Here we go, I'm taking over the show now. <laughs> so Callie, just, you can, you know, sit down. So uh, here we have, here we have Susie, who's a, uh, a, a Panasonic luminary, okay? And she's going to be capturing you. So what she's going to be doing is basically uh, doing video capture, correct? Okay. Right. Yeah, so all you need to do is kind of turn towards the mirror, and you're going to be looking in the mirror, so you should see me in the mirror, not yourself. And so we're going to be filming you from the side, and whatever faces you make in the mirror is going to be the motion. So just flirt with the mirror, be cute, whatever, and just be yourself. It'll be fun. Okay. Keep it sexy, Kelly. That's all, all right. we need, okay? I'll try. Fantastic. I will try. I will try. So right now, I'm just seeing... Wait. Oh, I see the mirror now. Okay. So everything stays still. We're going to create the motion right here outside... And so it's going to create this nice balance between still and motion, creating basically a, a living photograph. Like this? Yeah, let's still see me. There you go. Okay. I see the mirror. Tell me when to go. <laughs> okay, so that's the shooting process. Um, now, you used a, a Lumix camera from Panasonic. What it? A Lumix GH3 mirrorless camera. It's great for doing video. So it has integrated features for creating this, correct? Yeah, it's just video. Oh, it, oh, it's just video. It's not a special app. So I don't need a particular camera. I can do it with anything. I mean, I mean, the, the Lumix GH3 series are, is, is, are wonderful cameras. You know, very conducive to, to hybrid. You know, you can just they're, it's a mirrorless camera, so you can flip between basically uh, taking a still and uh, and capturing video. You know, instantly. So it's really fantastic. But no, any any kind of video that you capture can then be introduced into our software, uh, and that's where sort of the magic the magic happens. So we can uh, when you know, Mark is ready to okay. to get it going, we'll. Uh, we'll go over there and have a look at how we do this. All right, so we're going to go import this into the uh, into the to the Mac and we'll be right back. Okay, so it's the new year. When we think of the new year, we think resolutions. What do we want to do better this year? What do we want to accomplish this year? Well, eating better and the resolutions to go work out more, well, they usually fall to the wayside pretty quickly for most people. But I've got one for you that won't be a dud. Getting smarter. Because with Lumosity, you can train your brain to get better memory, faster response time, all while enjoying it having fun because it's like a game. You have all these fun games designed by neuroscientists that challenge you to keep going and be better. And that's what we all want in 2014, right? Lumosity.com slash geeky to get instant access. It's like a personal trainer, only a lot more fun. Believe me. They don't yell at you. They don't yell at you. All right, so it looks like we have it all imported. What's going on? We, we, we do. So this is what you're seeing right now is basically Cinemagraph Pro from Flixel. 
Um, and what we're going to do is basically we're going to bring your image to life. So what we have right now... Wait, before we get yeah. into that, um, so we, we can now use it on the iOS device. It's currently available on iOS, so for your iPhone or your iPad, there's a free version of Flixel and also a uh, more of a professional version available right now for, that you can download on the App Store. Um, Flixel Pro uh, will be available for Mac uh, in early February. Oh, so if you're really getting into it and really want to do more with it, go for the Mac Absolutely. in February. It's, it's been more of a professional tool, a lot more robust robust tools and uh, yeah it's gonna be out in early February okay now this looks very interesting I see all of my oh I can't believe I stuck my tongue out we did we captured it it's oh. on film <laughs> right, it's, so walk me through it so basically what the system does is we import uh, you know a, a sequence of video uh, and so here we've kind of set up our, our, our trim and we're basically going to find our master frame um, so I, I I don't think we're going to go with the tongue necessarily, but now Mark <laughs> Mark is looking for it. But this looks... So, uh, so this is our trim. This is the this section is of the video that we want. This is the sequence of frames. So what you see what's happening is that we have a master frame that the system already anchors for you. This kind of ghost effect is basically the video that's, that's playing over the top. So right away, we already know all the different options of motion that we can bring to life. So, I mean, I particularly kind of like this sequence. This sort of works. Our master frame, I think, is good. So okay. let's move on to the masking feature. And this is Flixel's... The mask up the there. Mask up there. And so this is Flixel's uh, live painting uh, technology. So we're basically going to unveil the motion right into the still. So now the still's been anchored. Oh, what's and you see right there? Yes, and, and Mark, our co-founder of VP of Technology, is just basically unveiling the motion and bringing, uh, bringing you to life, essentially creating this really interesting cool balance between still and motion. So you see that? There you go. Kind of quirky and funny and it's, yeah, that's very nice. Look at that. That is very interesting. So this stays still, that my final right. product is going to look exactly it's like this. Look like this. Well, I mean, obviously we can refine furthermore. So now he just triggered the loop. Uh, so he's going to play with different styles of looping. It could be a bounce loop or a repeat. He can play with the speed of the, the animation, add a little delay feature if you so choose. So I mean, this is where you get creative and kind of just, you know, go uh, let your imagination uh, kind of run wild. Uh, he can also trigger a series of different filters as well. Maybe we can show him the filters, which are really cool. We have like close to 20. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we could go all like black and white uh, and... Chrome, uh, process, instant, all these different kinds of really, really fun, fun, fun sort of filters. So what's really cool about this, it's sort of the, you know, the instant gratification. It's immediate, it's fun, it's intuitive. And, and that was sort of our goal in, in kind of creating this, this, this particular offering is, is really engaging photographers and artists. Um, oh, cool! Yeah. I'm sorry, I just realized he made was part of it black and white, and okay. the rest yeah. is color. That, that's our that's our Flixelate filter. Yes. Flixelate. Custom designed by Flixel. This is is very very fascinating. I I love the idea. Um, you guys actually have. Um, partnered with America's Next Top Model and yeah. Tyra and the whole yeah. show uses Flixels for that pro that show. Absolutely. We were uh, very fortunate. We had the opportunity to uh, basically uh, produce 13-some uh, episodes uh, of last year's cycle. So traditionally they had still, still photographs and uh, this was the first time that we basically produced Flixels for 13 episodes. So we, so we did about 200-some Flixels last year, which was great, and Tyra's been fantastic, and you know, kudos to her for sort of pioneering this and pushing this forward, and um, yeah, so it's been, it was a wonderful experience. Cool. So I know one question is going to come from the audience, file size, what kind of file size am I looking for something? Uh, file size wise, they're actually quite small, they're typically under one megabyte, so yeah, very, very small, and it's, it's a high definition file, so it looks very beautiful, um, you know, until very recently you have to sort of default to a, to a GIF. You know, and the problem with that, although just are cool and whatnot, and, and sort of this whole movement kind of stemmed from that, unfortunately, uh, the quality is just not there. Yeah. You know, it's crunched down, it's very compressed, and so what we wanted to do is really kind of solve that issue. And with Flixel, we basically host these online and on mobile in, in, in high definition, so really high quality, small file size, share it with your friends, upload it to Flixel's community, et cetera. I love it. Well, thank you so much yeah. for uh, letting uh, me experience this whole process. Uh, maybe I can take it home. <laughs> and you, thank you, you guys. Um, go check out Flixel.com to test it yourself. Go download the app. And in February, remember, it's coming out for the Mac. The Mac. We're very excited. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. You guys keep checking out more coverage here at CES at geekbeat.tv slash CES Live. We'll be back for more. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. I'm going to go find some more great stuff. <laughs>